messaging definitely uh, is intentional. Uh, we know that we do take on rainwater, uh, and if it doesn't drain fast enough, it will begin to collect and flood in certain areas. That's exactly why uh, we have seen the repetitive loss over decades. It's exactly why uh, we have been able uh, to acquire uh, federal funding to assist us uh, with mitigating flooding due to rainwater in the city of New Orleans. This started pre-Katrina, as you know, and in post-Katrina, we have adopted storm water uh, management practices. Green infrastructure, again, to, as an example, I had the opportunity to lead these efforts in the community that I led through recovery in Broadmoor. That's why today you have a library that captures over 90,000 gallons of water, a school that does the same. So it's about how we live with water. It's about how we can mitigate flooding. We can do better and we will. But I do not want to give a false narrative to our people. And that's why we, I'm really trying to be as intentional as possible, uh, not giving excuses, but getting people to understand that we have to even do things differently as we learn to live with water. And it's mitigating flooding in our communities, on our homes, you know, on our property, and we can do it. That's why the Greater New Orleans Foundation, for example, has gotten private dollars in to help us with flood mitigation practices. That's why we have groups like the Urban Conservancy to help us again live with water, but to address uh, areas that are more prone, prone to flooding, as well as uh, getting our residents to understand with paving and concrete paving, it only becomes a runoff for rainwater, and we need to keep as much water from the drains as possible. The advocate and